Welcome back to the Good Oil Conference in Fremantle. Today I'm joined with Peter Dawson, Chief Executive Officer of Risk Advisory, an independent oil and gas consultancy firm. Welcome, Peter. Colin, thank you. Peter, how would you describe Risk's business? Risk is a technical and commercial consultancy to the EMP sector. Um, we've got a deep pool of professionals with plus 25 years experience, and we're able to really parachute them into to projects um, where they can sort through a lot of data very quickly and focus on the information that's critical uh, to form an independent view that people can rely upon to make their commercial decisions. Um, the, the key for these uh, professionals is that there's no learning curve. They really hit the ground running and they're able to deliver a, a response to an issue within a very tight time frame. They are really at the top of their game. Peter, where does Risk operate? Well, we have offices in Brisbane, Perth, Jakarta, uh, Dubai and London. Um, we are currently towards the end of a recruitment campaign that will see us with approximately 80 professionals across those offices. Um, Perth and London remain the core centres of our uh, execution capability, although we do have execution capability in those other three offices, which we continue to grow. What differentiates you from other service providers? We present ourselves as being independent and with integrity and with a very high level of technical capability. But to be frank, uh, our competitors are equally capable and we need to respect them for that. We've got a wide uh, market with very capable people. So what we try to do, what we actively try to work on is putting a little bit of risk magic into our reports. That light bulb that people look for, that little piece of value add that they say, now I understand something different. That's what we try to put into our reports. What are the issues confronting the sector which are impacting on you and how are you responding? Well, we've seen a downturn in transaction activity in Australia over the past two years, although it seems to be changing now. And during that time, uh, we've made a drive into Southeast Asia, which has been very busy, and to, into Europe, in particular into the North Sea. Some of the trends that we see are uh, with the exodus of the US companies out of Southeast Asia, going back into shale gas in the United States. Uh, we see uh, a lot of investment funds coming out of the Middle East moving into those Southeast Asian assets and our Dubai office has been critical in, in working to join those, uh, the money with the assets. Uh, we've seen a lot of activity in the North Sea and our London office has grown proportionately with that activity. Uh, and there is always emerging activity in East Africa. So they are the trends that we're responding to. Our business is now 60% uh, with revenues generated offshore. We're a success story for, for the Australian economy. We are an export industry, we export knowledge. Um, and I think that's, that's our response to the changing market, that we've grown globally uh, with that changing market. You recently merged with ISIS Petroleum Consultants. What was the thinking behind this merger? The ISIS merger has been a great success for us. It's brought a depth to our GNG capability that we previously didn't have. Risk GNG had historically been what I call review and adjust, whereas the ISIS work is what I call original work. They execute uh, sequence stratigraphy, they do basin modelling, they'll do seismic interpretation. This interpretive work becomes part of the DNA of a project and it goes forward with the project. Uh, and, and it enables ISIS, it enables risk to remain part of the project for longer. And that's really what we're driving at with the, uh, with the merger. Um, in addition, the, the combination of our larger balance sheet and their broader skill set has actually enabled us to bid for much bigger projects than we otherwise would have, and that, that too has been a big success for us. Peter, what is the vision for the business? We'll continue with our strategy, which is to expand our footprint geographically and to expand the range of services that we offer with the intention of remaining part of the business with the client for longer. The ISIS acquisition has been very successful in that context. Uh, we will continue to move down that pathway either by organic growth or by acquisition, merger. Um, we have a vision of growing our business into a multidisciplinary global consultancy providing fully integrated technical and commercial services to our clients which really assist them to make their decisions with confidence. But the key is we wish to do that with a little bit of magic that people can see and recognise as the risk 
offering, the risk value add. Thanks for your time today, Peter. Thanks, Colin. Really appreciate it.